Every winter, a single question pops up in millions of curious minds. Could reindeer actually fly? Not just prance, not just gallop, but lift off the ground and glide across the sky, pulling a sleigh loaded with gifts. You've seen the pictures, heard the stories, watched the movies. But beneath all the glitter and jingling bells, what's the truth behind this legendary species and their supposed aerial talents? Kids see them soaring effortlessly through the sky and instantly wonder if something that magical could also be real. And honestly, that little spark of maybe is powerful enough to keep this question alive generation after generation. To figure it out, we have to start with the real creatures themselves, the animals behind the myth. Reindeer, or caribou, depending on where you're standing, are some of the toughest mammals on Earth. They live in the Arctic, where winter laughs at the idea of cold and decides to upgrade it into something personal. These animals survive blizzards, migrate hundreds of miles, and use their gigantic hooves like snowshoes and paddles. Their bodies are basically optimized for the tundra, not the clouds. And yet, ironically, their rugged resilience is part of why they became the perfect candidates for fantastical stories in the first place. If you can survive the Arctic, people will assume you can handle just about anything. But here's the interesting part. Despite being perfectly built for the frozen ground somewhere in history, these same creatures became icons of the sky. And not just icons, pilots. A team of airborne deer supposedly travelling faster than any airplane ever built. That leap from snow to sky didn't come from biology. It came from imagination, folklore and a mystery people still wonder about. And the best part is that this mystery stuck because nobody has ever truly wanted to close the book on it. The whole idea sits right in that perfect sweet spot between impossible and maybe not so impossible after all. Before we unravel how reindeer might fly, there's something unusual buried in the past that most people never hear about. In ancient Arctic cultures, storytellers described reindeer as animals connected to the spirits of winter. Some stories even hinted at them crossing between realms during solstices, a kind of symbolic journey that later folklore could easily reinterpret. We don't have proof of literal flight here, but we do have the seed of something grander, something that would eventually inspire a sleigh, a suit, and a certain global tradition. Those communities use story and symbolism to explain the mysteries around them, and reindeer naturally became the stars of many tales. It didn't take long for the world to take those seeds and grow them into full-blown holiday mythology. But even if old stories whispered about magical journeys, we still haven't answered how these animals could physically take to the air. To explore that, we need to understand not what reindeer are, but what they could be with a little assistance. Because if we're looking for truth inside a legend, then assistance is where all the interesting possibilities hide. Maybe the secret isn't in nature, but in invention, something cleverly disguised behind red harnesses and jingling bells. Or maybe it's something older, something hidden in the traditions of winter itself that we haven't fully understood yet. Take the sleigh, for example. You've probably noticed that in almost every modern depiction, the sleigh glides effortlessly, smooth as silk, no smoke trails, no roaring engines. But what if that's because the sleigh is the engine? If you hide advanced propulsion underneath the runners, silent thrusters, maybe anti-gravity generators, the reindeer wouldn't need to flap wings or perform any super deer acrobatics. Their job would be directional guidance. They pull, the sleigh lifts, the whole team, rises as one. This turns the reindeer into something like cozy antlered flight controllers, adorable but essential. And honestly, if anybody had the engineering ability to build a stealth sub-zero gift delivery aircraft, it would definitely be the guy who runs a workshop staffed by elves. But that's only one theory. There's another, the harnesses. Every picture you've seen shows ornate leather straps, bells, buckles and decorative trim. What if those decorations weren't just for show? Hidden within could be lift amplifiers or microthrusters, tiny devices that reduce weight and add forward momentum. The reindeer run, as they always do, but the harness elevates them. 
To anyone watching from below, the movement looks natural, even majestic. And the beauty of this idea is that it keeps the illusion intact. Nothing breaks the holiday magic from a distance. Those bells may not just be festive, they might be cooling vents for futuristic North Pole tech. There's even a more scientific possibility. The northern skies are strange. They're home to auroras, massive magnetic forces and rare atmospheric phenomena. If a sleigh launched under the right conditions, midwinter, high latitude, strong geomagnetic activity, it might tap into unusual air currents or pockets of rising air. In that case, the reindeer wouldn't have to fly in the traditional sense. They'd be surfing invisible rivers in the sky. This would turn the sleigh into a kind of cosmic sailboat, riding the tides of the upper atmosphere. And honestly, surfing auroras sounds exactly like something a magical winter team would do. Of course, there's the explanation children love most, a touch of Christmas magic. Whether it's a special feed only found at the North Pole, an ancient enchantment woven into the sleigh, or something whispered by elves, magic is the simplest explanation and the hardest to disprove. And for one night a year, the world's bedtime stories all agree to let the laws of physics loosen up just a bit. This version doesn't require rockets or science, just belief, imagination, and a willingness to let wonder win. And sometimes that's more powerful than any engine ever built. Now we've followed real history, examined real biology, explored possible technologies, and peeked at the edges of winter magic. Each step brings us closer to the final answer that young viewers, and let's be honest, a lot of adults, still wonder about. The truth has been hiding in the intersection between reality and fantasy this entire time. And the more we look, the more it becomes clear that the story isn't about limits. It's about possibilities. That's why this question has survived centuries without ever getting old. So, after all of that, can reindeer fly by themselves, naturally, without help? No living scientist has ever recorded a reindeer lifting off on its own power, and every study of their bones, muscles and physiology says they stay on the ground. But in the context of a story, backed by a sleigh that might be more advanced than it looks, a harness that could hide extraordinary engineering, a winter sky full of unusual forces, and a season powered by belief itself. Suddenly, the idea doesn't seem impossible. Not guaranteed, not proven, but not impossible. And maybe that small spark of possibility is exactly why this tale still captures hearts. A grounded animal and a skybound dream working together for one magical night. Maybe the real magic isn't whether reindeer can fly. Maybe the magic is that every year millions of us, kids and grown-ups, look at the winter sky and wonder. And the moment that wondering begins, the story lifts off the ground whether the reindeer do or not. That's the kind of magic no science can measure. And that's why the legend will always live on.